Hello everybody, this is Mr. Champlin here, and today we are going to look at how to multiply polynomials. The first thing I want to point out though is when we multiply polynomials, make sure you recognize are we going to multiply using monomials, which has one term? Are we going to uh, multiply uh, a polynomial that is a trinomial, which has three terms? Or are we going to be multiplying a binomial, which has two terms. Okay, so what are we multiplying? That's what we have to look at. All right, so first, let's look at number one. And we have two monomials. So we have 2x times 3x to the power 4. The trick is you want to first multiply the coefficients. So you multiply those and you get 2 times 3 equals 6. Then you want to add the exponents when you multiply exponents, right? So if you have x technically to the power 1 times x to the power 4, that actually equals x to the 5. So my answer is going to be 6x to the power of 5. All right, not bad. Now what if we're looking at binomials times binomials, right? Well, using the box method, um, which is one way you can attempt this, using the box method, you want to take one of the binomials, so let's put x plus 1 on the top, and separate the terms. So I'm going to put x plus 1, separate that. And then on the left, we're going to put the other binomial. So I'm going to put x plus 3, because we got to separate the terms. Now, we multiply them into the square. So you line them up into the square. So if I have x times x, that equals x squared. If I have x times 3... I get 3x, okay, I'm going to erase this so you can see it. Now if I have 3, we'll say 3 times 1, that equals 3. And if I do x times 1, right, x times 1, that just equals x. Now I'm going to erase these arrows so we can see it better. Now we have our terms in the middle. We have our terms in the middle. And First thing I have to point out, you have to combine your x's. So anything that is diagonal, you combine. And I like to put a little arrow here, and we're going to combine 3x. And when I say combine, we're going to add them together. We're going to add them together. So 3x plus x equals 4x. So now I have my x squared, my 4x, and my 3, and we combine them together, and you get x squared plus 4x plus 3. All right. Oh, this one's interesting. So this one is a monomial. However, it's negative 5x to the 4, and they want us to simplify it. So one way we could rewrite this is you could rewrite it as negative 5x to the, or I'm sorry, negative 5x times negative 5x times negative 5x times negative 5x. Or we can distribute the exponent, and we can rewrite it as negative 5 to the power of 4 times x to the power of 4. And when we do that, negative 5 to the power of 4 becomes an even 625 in x to the 4. And that's the answer to that. All right, well, this one looks like it's only one term, but technically this isn't, right? It's two terms. Because another way of saying going the opposite direction of number three, this is saying x minus 7 squared. Another way of saying that is x minus 7 times x minus 7. And we're going to use the same method as number two. We're going to use the box method. And I'm just going to put x minus 7. Make sure you have the negative there. And then x minus 7 here. And we're going to multiply them in. So x times x equals x squared. Negative 7 times x is negative 7x. x times negative 7 is negative 7x. And then uh, negative 7 times negative 7 is 49. Oh, yep, I know you're screaming it. Don't forget to combine the, the terms. So negative 7x plus negative 7x equals negative 14x. So here's my first term. Here's my second term, here's my third term, and my answer is x squared minus 14x plus 49. Awesome. Good job. What about a monomial times a trinomial? You have been doing this forever. 
you're right. We're just going to use the distributive property. When we use that, we have 2x times x squared. You get 2x to the third minus 6x squared and plus 2x. So we like that one. That was just a simple distributive property. What about a binomial times a trinomial? Well, look at this. The trinomial has three terms. Let's put that on top. So 3x squared minus x plus 4. That all goes on top. And the binomial goes to the left because there's two spaces there. So x plus 1. Just like before, we're going to multiply across. So I have x times 3x squared, which equals 3x cubed x times negative x is negative x squared, and x times 4 is 4x. Now let's do the bottom row. 1 times 3x squared is 3x squared. 1 times negative x is negative x. And uh, 1 times 4 is positive 4. Now similarly to uh, binomial times binomial, whatever is going diagonal, is what you're going to combine. So I have 3x squared minus x squared. Notice that's diagonal and touching. And then I have negative x plus 4x. And remember, when we're going diagonal, we're adding them together. Okay? So to do so, I'm not going to add the arrows, but I'm going to show you guys how to write it out. And to do so, notice 3x cubed is the only one. It's all by itself. So I have 3x cubed. Then here... Here, oops, sorry, 3x cubed. Then here, I have 3x squared minus x squared, so that's just going to be plus 2x squared. Then I have negative x plus 4x, which is going to be plus 3x. And then my 4 is all by myself, all by itself, so plus 4. And that's my solution. Whew, that was a lot. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And what I can say with multiplying polynomials, practice, practice, practice. You guys are freaking amazing. Peace out. Bye.